In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set proper file and folder permissions for your WordPress site on your server, and that means Chmod 755 and Chmod 664. I'm going to explain to you what those mean, how to set them, and we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe, then hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And with that out of the way, let's head in the screen capture and set our folder and file permissions properly. I'll see you there. So the easiest way to check your file permissions is through the file manager in cPanel or via FTP, whichever you're more comfortable with. We just wanna open one of those two and I should be able to look at our files. So I'm using file manager, gonna go into public underscore HTML and we see our list of files here. I've got a bunch of extras that aren't part of the default WordPress install because this is my demo site and I do a lot of stuff on here that you wouldn't do on a regular production site. So you're gonna have probably a lot fewer folders. You might only have these three folders and then a bunch of files down below. Now what you wanna check for on the right hand side, somewhere there's a column called permissions. We wanna make sure that all the files are set to 0644 or just 644, depending on how your host displays these. Now the directories, these three for example, are set to 0755 or just 755. Now what that means is if we right click on one of these, let's do this one, and then we click on change permissions, we see that our permissions are for the user to be able to read and write, for the group only to be able to read, and for the world only to be able to read. Now, if we turn this off, the site won't load. Let's just load up the, the site really quick just to see how this works. So our site's loading fine right here. If we change this to a zero, actually might not do a lot just for one file. Oh, it worked. Okay, so we change that to a zero. The server is not allowed to access that file, or sorry, the world is not allowed to access that file, meaning anybody outside of the server. Now, if we change this back, to be able to read, adds a four, change permissions, refresh the page, our website is back. For the folders, if we change permissions there, we see that everybody's able to read and execute and only the user is able to write. The user is the PHP on the server and it's able to read, write and execute so it can properly deliver the website. Outside of the server, nobody should be able to write. So the user is the only one that's ever allowed to write. If a hacker gets into your server through some other vulnerability, they won't be able to directly edit your files because they are not this user. They are part of the group, which is everybody else on the server. And so they can't actually write to these files. So they wouldn't be able to inject any code into any of these files. They wouldn't be able to add a new file. They can indirectly do things, which there's other ways to stop that, but they're not able to actually go in and edit your files. One of the biggest problems I see is that write abilities are available for everyone. So you have 777 permissions on all files and all folders, which is a huge vulnerability. That means that anybody logged into your server or even anybody in the world visiting your website who is able to find a vulnerability can write anything they want onto your server which is really bad. So you always wanna make sure that the group cannot write, the world cannot write. Make it even more simply, folders have a 755 permission, files have a 644 permission, and these are the defaults. When WordPress is installed, these are actually the default settings. But you might find a plugin or some kind of script that wants to have more access to be able to work properly. And so you might have to go in here or your developer might or your tech person might come in here, change permissions just temporarily just to get the plugin running to 777, for example. Maybe that plugin needs 777 all the time. And you should really consider not using that plugin just for that reason, because that's a major vulnerability. And I know I'm kind of harping on this, but this is very important because if somebody gets into a server, even a shared hosting environment, if you're using Bluehost or HostGator on the shared hosting, if they can get into a different website and your permissions allow anybody on the server or in the group to write, they can write onto your site and cause a lot of problems on your site, even though they didn't get into your site. They got into somebody else's on the same shared server as you are. 
That's how we set proper file and folder permissions for WordPress on your server. I hope this video helps you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe, then hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you on the next video.